Hey everybody, it's Party Elite with a brand new game for you today, The Dwarves. It actually releases on the 1st of December, but the developers, King Art, and the publishers, THQ Nordic and Euro Video Median, were kind enough to send me an early access uh, review copy. I've played a little bit of it, had a great time, and I thought I'd actually cover this as the, one of the first Let's Plays outside of uh, Total War in my channel, and Stellaris, I guess. Um, but yeah, it's it's a great game, and I thought you guys might be interested in it, so figured why not share it with you guys. I have played a little bit of the first act, but for the most part, we'll actually be experiencing the game together. And I look forward to your comments below, both about the game and what you you know how you'd prefer to have me talk over cutscenes or not, etc., etc. But for starters, uh, we're just gonna play this like I'd play it uh, on the regular, except I'll have my thoughts out loud, obviously. Otherwise, it'd be pretty boring. Let's get the show on the road. Fracas made us from stone to protect Gundelgard. Against orcs, ogres, and all the other beasts of Teor. We are the guardians of Gundelgard. We are the children of the Divine Smith. We are the Dwarves. All right, we are the Dwarves. Now, in this game, uh, it is an RPG, and it's obviously a fantasy RPG. Um, it's very nice in terms of its combat, very uh, reliant on some tactical play, actually, which I do enjoy. Now, the storyline is actually based off of lore from a book. In, I believe actually that it's actually the whole story or, or the game itself is based off this book called The Dwarves written by uh, Marcus Heitz, a German author. So if you're familiar with that piece, uh, this will all seem very familiar to you in fact. Uh, I'm not familiar with it, so this is actually exploring a whole new world for me. Now uh, a nice little... I was mentioning it's a tactical sort of game. Now, as, as more characters unlock, it becomes more so. But you can actually pause in the middle of battle and give commands to all your units at, or all your characters, and they'll execute them at the same time. So I'm just going to dive in there. They've got, as with RPGs as it goes, you know, they've got different abilities. Everyone's got their own uh, specifications, what they do best, etc. So that's all pretty standard from that front. But uh, the, the pausing as well, you know, some other games do it too. But it is really fun. Right, I don't have action points. It's very fun when the battles are so big and, and they get kind of hectic. You're almost always, I want to say, outnumbered and in this kind of precarious situation. It's a, it's a great feeling. Also, you may have noticed already, but physics plays an important part. You may have seen, actually I don't think I've done it yet, but you can actually knock people around uh, with some of those special maneuvers and whatnot. And, let's try it here. Ah, almost. You can throw people off the bridge, basically, which I think is... Right. Absolutely, absolutely excellent. I think it, uh... It suggests there's a lot of interesting stuff to come. Uh, come on. Excellent. A lot of interesting stuff to come in terms of using the environment. Look at that. <laughs> ah, you see them drop. I love it. Oh, not enough action points. Not a problem. Drop another grenade in there. And... I want to dive in. Let's go. Come on. Let me through, my dwarven brethren. I wish to kill you. Ah, there we go. Come on. All right. Let's dive in. Actually, let's drop a grenade first, and let's dive in the middle here. Now, probably not the right thing to do, You're diving into a very dangerous situation. I'm surprised if I have a hard time with this. I am playing on hard mode, so uh, if I die a couple times, I wouldn't be surprised. All right. Let's drop this. There we go. Have another grenade. Oof. <laughs> I'm really looking forward to seeing how the environment comes into play in these uh, combat scenarios. That's right, green skin scum. My king! What are you doing here? Gizelbert I and I, the father of the Fifthling clan, has not been on the front line of battle against the creatures of Teon for many cycles. The king surveys the battlefield and the defenders with a grave expression. <sighs> we are too few. This you know as well as he does. 
but there will be no reinforcements arriving. Hundreds of brave warriors lie inside the fortress dying. The illness is running rampant. It brings weakness and death. Stay at your posts. Be as steadfast as the granite of which we are made. Nothing can break us. Vrakas is with us. All right. Yep. Yeah, so this is where we get uh, multiple characters and we can actually overload around together as well. And let's see, so as I said, they've got different abilities. So this guy, for example, has this great sweeping hit. Oh, ho, ho. <laughs> and uh, right, so this is where using the pause ability is really helpful. So let's drop a grenade in here, for example, flip over to this guy and we can, uh, let's see, let's get the, Actually, let's push him up first, and we'll drop the axe right afterwards, so let's do that as soon as he gets up. Oh, let's drop another grenade. All right, let's drop the axe. Nice. Very nice, all right? Just pause it again real quick. Let's see, I want to dive over there, get in from behind. Meanwhile, this guy is able to heal his allies, so I might do that eventually. Okay, right now, though. All right. Oh, yeah, good hit there. I like uh, this guy, Gizzlebert. Gizzlebert? There he goes. Come on, slaughter this fellow. Let's drop the axe here. You too, let's drop the axe. Get rid of this ogre. Oh, sorry, buddy. Hit my own friend there. This guy's doing okay. Let's get rid of these archers. Come on. Drop a grenade over here. Yeah, I love it. I love seeing him drop like that. Drop the hammer. Excellent. This guy should be an easy kill. And actually, it looks like we've taken care of the situation pretty easily here. Lovely. Lovely, where are you? Nope, oh, some of these guys are still alive. This guy off, excellent. Onwards. Let's drop a grenade. Let's actually pause here, I want to see what's going on. So this guy's still back here. Huh? Yes. Let's take Over care of there. him. And you drop a grenade there. All right. Nice. I love it when they fall off. It makes my life so much easier. Can I actually... I uh, When I was initially playing the game, I actually ran off the, uh, the bridge a couple times. I'm ashamed to admit. Let's go. Let's go. Um, let's actually drop a grenade here. Well, let's get out of this situation. Right. Yes. Over there. I need to get him up into the fight. Yes. Ah, nice little action shot here. Nice. Okay, this guy's dead. Let's take care of this guy. Let's get up there. Get back out. All right, let's drop another grenade. Nice. All right, we've got this. Uh, let's see, can we sweep? Yeah, I might knock some of them off. Oh. <laughs> Alright, let's drop a heal buff there. Excellent. And we'll dive in here. Sweep again. Knock some of these guys off. Oh, ah, got a couple of them. We actually need to pop another heal buff. There we go. So I like the pace of this because I'm so like heavily outnumbered. Oh no! <laughs> All right, let's restart that. That's unfortunate. <laughs> Swung my own axe and threw me off the bridge. All right, so because you're so heavily outnumbered, I love the sort of tension you get from it because. Once you get surrounded, you do you do take a fair amount of, of damage. All right, let's uh, let's not do that this time. Yes. What? Yep, yep, yep. I'm aware. I understand how this works. Oh, good stuff. Good stuff. All right. Let's drop the axe in there. Let's drop the hammer here. Let's get this grenade going here. Let's kill some of these guys. Come on. Axe. Swing some of these guys off the bridge. I wonder if I can actually throw the uh, the ogre off. Uh, 
Drop the hammer on this guy. Nope, that didn't reach him. Uh, I can save the grenade for later. I want to be a bit more careful this time. Kind of ran forward like- Oh no! Alright, come on. This is... That wasn't me that time, that was the ogre. At least it wasn't my fault. Interesting. Let myself get knocked off twice now. Didn't happen that many times when I was what playing was originally. Alright. Yes. Huh? Yep, I'm aware of that. There we go. Knocked a few of them off there. Excellent. Alright, alright. Swing these guys off. Ooh, hit my home bodies there. Alright, dive in there. Let's drop a heal. Let's get a grenade in there. Knock some of those guys off the bridge. Excellent. Alright, let's keep these guys a little far away from each other because I don't want to get knocked off the bridge again. Alright, excellent. I like that I've got uh, sort of troops as well. It's a nice, uh, nice touch. Come on, let's drop this guy. Let's drop another grenade here. There we go. Like that. Throw a few more guys off the, uh, the top of this bridge. Let's drop the hammer on this ogre. And let's see. We've got a grenade in there. Meanwhile, Gizzlebert. Uh, let's just dive in. Should be able to swing soon enough. Gotta make sure I don't fall off with it. Let's drop these guys. Come on. There we go. Excellent. Uh, what's going on here? Let's get another grenade. Right in the middle there. Yeah. And... Swing at the same time. I'm hoping they'll blow towards me and then I'll just swath them off the, uh, the bridge. Oh, that's exactly what happened! <laughs> Excellent. Let's get rid of this guy. Come on. Let's pop some heals. Right, let's dive in there. Knock some more people off. Excellent. Just gotta be careful. Oh, okay, I thought I'd lose some of my own dwarves. Alright, alright. Excellent. Drop the hammer here. That causes a lot of damage. Let's actually need to kill some of these guys. Let's drop a grenade over here. Not the most effective. Alright. Don't need to heal. We're good, we're good. Whack him. There we go. I love those little kill animations as well. When uh, when you drop them, you get like a critical... I don't want to say critical hit, but you get an insta-kill animation. Can I leave someone behind? I thought I did. Alright, what's going on here? Uh, let's do that. Turn around this way. Still don't need to heal. There we go. Come on. Give me a good hit. Drop the hammer. There we go. Alright, gotta destroy these. Okay. <laughs> Hurting my own people. Alright, catapults taken care of. Oh no, this one's still around. Okay, that took <laughs> a little bit longer than I would have liked. These are the ones who attacked us in the tunnels. We suffered great losses beating them back. Dark elf nonsense. Come here and I'll split you like a straw, you treacherous elf! In his fury, the old king radiates a ferocious power that none of Sitalia's children could withstand. But the slight, willowy being sitting astride the shadow mare just grins down mockingly. You are mistaken. We are Alpha. We are here to destroy the elves. All peace-loving beings here in Girdlegard are under our protection, and you cannot open the gate that has barred your path into Girdlegard since the creation of the world. Not us, but perhaps one of your kind. This cannot be. Silence, you fool! Vrakas, forgive me for what I am about to do! 
Quickly! Oh. In formation! You must hold them back until I close the gate! <laughs> Yes. All right. So I am definitely looking forward to uh, exploring the lore of this universe. It's all completely foreign to me. I don't know any of it. So very curious to see, you know, sort of what's going on, what the story is, and what it all means. I love a good fantasy sort of storyline. No, 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 no. <laughs> bad. All right. Let's drop the axe there. Excellent. Alright, we've got this, we've got this. Come on, drop this guy. King's working hard. Uh, let's drop it here. Kill that guy, excellent. This guy's next, this guy's next. Excellent, and excellent. I'm liking the, uh, the abilities as well. There's a little bit of variety in terms of the way they hit, who hits how, etc. Like the king's uh, sweeping axe attack that took me out a couple times was very different from this guy's sort of overhead smash, and the king had a had an overhead smash as well. This charging move is very dangerous every time I fear for my life when I do it. And then there's that dive as well, the uh, that maneuver, which I like a lot. So. I'm, I'm excited to see how, oh jeez, how all these characters develop and, and what they all offer. Because, again, there's 15, so imagine it'll be pretty varied. Alright, gates are closed. Look at me. I am Syntharas, the Reaper of your death. I will take your life, and the land will take your soul. Get out of my sight, pointy ears. Let me delight at the closed gate a little longer. The gate may have closed, but when you rise again from the dead by the power of the land, you will be one of us, and you will open it. Never! My soul belongs to Vrakas. No. Your soul now belongs to the land. And henceforth you will belong to it forever. Now die. And return. Then hand us Girdleguard. All right. Very interesting opening. I was pretty quiet for that because I already knew what was coming, but 1.035 cycles later. You're a interesting piercing. Tongue del Bolivar. I've got a reputation to uphold. If you can't rely on the metalwork of a dwarf, what can you rely on? Oh, uh, <laughs> well, that's quite the compliment. You look dreadful, bad. Okay, what can I do for what you? What can I do for you? For me, nothing. It's Lot Yonan. He wants to see you in his study. In your mind, you go through all the recent incidents that might have annoyed the Magus. Apart from a few little squabbles with his famuli, nothing worth mentioning happened since the incident with your beard. You nod. Okay. <laughs> so I do like the narrator and everything, but I don't know if I'll be staying quiet through all the speech and just sort of reading all of it. It's an RPG, so there's quite a bit of it. Um, you, I could ask... It was like a horribly rude thing to say. Uh, let's be a little tactless, why not? You look dreadful. What a charmer. <laughs> the maid gives you an ironic reprimand. Kana has been crying half the night. Kana has been crying half the When you were teething, I carried you around the vaults. You played with my beard and I sang you to sleep. Prowler That's smiles. funny to think about. She's heard this story many times before. That All was right. 23 cycles ago. But I'm quite sure you didn't sing. You might have grumbled a bit. If what you've read about the Dwarven lifespan is true, it'll be another 300 sun cycles and more before you are called to the Eternal Forge. The certainty of one day having to witness Frala's death already burdens your heart. I'd better not keep the Magus waiting. No, all right. <laughs> See you later. Sorry, There's I kept kind of... kept kind of scrolling around there. I, I like... Uh... 
I like the visuals a lot in this game. I think it looks quite nice. So I, I'll, I do that every once in a while. All right. So I think actually that's what I'm going to call the first episode. Try and keep them split in very logical sections. I feel like that's a good point to drop off. If you guys are interested in seeing more of this game, do drop a like and a comment. Just lets me know. I think it's a really fun game. I have played a little bit more than this. Um, so I'm actually going to release a couple of episodes today. Uh, the next one should already be live as well, in fact. Uh, so do check it out. It's a... Uh, it's a fun game, and as you can see, it started with a bit of an, of an abilities, as it's called. Uh, so you know what's coming as we move forward with the story of this young dwarf boy. Thank you guys very much for joining me, and I will see you next time. Until then, cheers.